Hello YouTube. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right corner there to see more outdoor related activities. So as the title states, I'm going to be sharing with you what kind of food I take camping. My advice on food selection and tips to make sure you get enough calories to keep you going on your next outdoor adventure. Everyone's calorific intake will be different and this depends on your weight, speed, temperature and metabolic rate. It's very important to hit that daily intake of food that you need to keep going, especially on the longer hiking trips. You can get away with not consuming enough calories if you're only out for a day or two. But on the longer hiking trips, if you don't hit that daily intake that you need, then it will soon catch up with you, leaving you very fatigued. Look at the calorie to weight ratio in all the food that you plan to take. Avoid wet foods and tin foods. They're heavy and you have to carry those tins for the rest of your hiking trip. Consuming a higher amount of fat on your hiking trips is a good idea to make up for those lost calories from hiking. Fat is the most energy dense food there is. Just make sure that they're healthy fats. Calories break down during the day, so if you're going to be walking a lot, the best thing you can do is spread your calorific intake. Breakfast should be about 20 to 25 of your daily intake. While you're hiking and walking, it should be 50 to 60 of your calories in forms of snacks and your lunch. And your evening meal should be 20 to 25 of your daily calories in form of your camping meal. Men need 360 calories per hour and women need 240 calories per hour whilst hiking. For a 7 hour hiking trip, men will need between 4,500 to 5,250 calories and women will need 3,330 to 4,320 calories. So as you can see on the table in front of me, I've got a selection of foods and these are the sort of foods that I would normally take on my hiking trips. We've got some dehydrated ready meals that you can get from your local camping shop. They're really good, they hit the spot, they're about 600 calories per bag and they're nice and lightweight. We have another hiking meal here, it is a wet one. I never really take these ones because they are heavier than the dehydrated meals. But if I'm out for one or two days, these are still a good thing to have because you can eat it straight out of the bag without even heating it up. I normally take some dried meat with me, either a chorizo or salami or even both on a big hiking trip. And I like to mix these with noodles as my main meal or evening meal. And they give you quite a lot of calories for the weight. Also, I've got these two packets. They're quite good, little pasta pop, ready meal, just put that in a cup, add water to it, quite good if you're on the go. There's some couscous, that seems to do the job, same thing again, just add water to it and it's ready to go. Snack bars and cereal bars, like these, are great for morning snacks or for when you're on the go or on the trail. And some other foods that I don't have on the table but I normally take with me. I have a bag of trail mix or a bag of nuts, they're high in protein, but make sure you don't get the salted ones because obviously that will dehydrate you. I normally take a lot of chocolate, high in calories to weight ratio, and it's nice to snack on. I normally take coffee sachets with me for the mornings, I need my coffee to keep me going. Just make sure you get the ones that are sweetened so you don't have to worry about taking sugar with you as well. Hot chocolate sachets are good to take also, have that like warm beverage before you get into bed in the evenings. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Hope you found this video useful and found something that you can use on your next hiking trip. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.